Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my January favourites. So I'm just going to get stuck right in. I've only got a few things to talk about. Uh, so first up is this. It's a thing of beauty. It's the Hourglass Surreal Light Lighting Edit Ambient. That's what it says on the back. Um, but it is an absolute thing of beauty. I just love this thing. I was lucky enough to get it for Christmas. It has this gorgeous like marble packaging. And look at that. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? So it's got a few different powders in here. It's got um, like a couple of blushes, a kind of bronzy blusher hybrid, a couple of kind of highlighting powders. And I, I've just been using this palette non-stop since I got it. Uh, well, every day that I've been wearing makeup pretty much, which hasn't been every day because obviously I've been at home with baby. Um, but yeah, absolutely loving this. Um, I'm wearing them at the moment. I'm wearing uh, this kind of uh, bronzy shade as a bronzer, this highlighty gold one as a highlighter, and then the, the bright one as a blusher. But I did mix in a tiny bit of the kind of peachier one as well. And I really, really love it. I think, I know this was limited edition, but I think you can still get it. It keeps going kind of sold out and back in stock. So, um, I'll, as always, I'll put a link to all the products in the description box below. That was actually my only makeup favourite this month. As I said, I haven't been wearing makeup a huge amount because of, because of baby. <laughs> On to skincare. I've been loving this Blue Moon Cleansing Balm by Sunday Riley. It is really, really good. Um, Oh, I've still got this little cat thing on. This is what it looks like. It's blue, as the name would suggest. Um, so this is a kind of cleanser that you just massage into a dry skin. Uh, it breaks down all of your makeup, and then you either rinse it off or take it off with a flannel. I tend to take it off with a flannel. And the reason I've been uh, loving this one in particular over other balm cleansers is because my skin's been really, really sensitive. Um, and I've had a bit of an eczema breakout, um, which I tend to get every winter, which is really annoying and I think it's been made worse this year by like living in a colder climate and my hormones are all over the place still from having just had a baby. Um, so yeah, I use this as a cleanser morning and night and sometimes if my eczema is really bad I just get a tiny bit and I just rub it on um, the worst of it on my eyelid and then just like leave it there to sleep so I kind of almost use it as like a rescue balm and it's really really good for that. My eyes are actually not looking too bad today uh, but some days it looks really rough. Carrying on with the dryness theme, my lips have also been really dry so I've gone back to an old favourite, the Nukes Rave de Mille Lip Balm. I know people talk about this all the time on blogs, it's like a honey and beeswax based lip balm and it is really thick and really, really nourishing. I tend to put it on uh, like with my skincare routine, so um, in the morning and at night, and then I just use something a little bit lighter in the day. Um, although there's no reason why you couldn't use this all day, and it's really like been rescuing my lips and getting them back to normal a bit, so that's fantastic. And my next product is also linked to this eye eczema drama, whatever you want to call it. It's the Aurelia Illuminate and Smooth Puff Reduction Eye Cream. I really, really love this. It comes in this jar um, and you have to take the lid off and like poke your finger in to get the product out. So that's not ideal. That's the one thing that I find really annoying and I kind of don't like um, about this eye cream. It just doesn't seem very hygienic. Eye creams tend to last me a long time. I tend to have a few on the go at a time. So just not great. And another annoying thing about it is it comes in a duo. So it comes with this, which I'm guessing is supposed to be for night, and then another one which is for day, and that's like a roll-on. Uh, so if you wanted to just buy one on its own, you can't, you have to buy them together. The eye one is really nice, It the rollerball is really, really cold, and you just kind of roll it around and it really like wakes you up and freshens your eyes. And usually I love that one too, but at the moment my eye is just, like my skin is just too sensitive for that and it kind of burns a little bit. But this one has been so great, it's been really like soothing and calming um, on my eye area and really keeping it moisturised. So I tend to use that in the day um, and then I use it at night as well if the eczema is not too bad and then if it's really bad I use the Boomin Cleansing Balm. Onto a couple of bath and body care bits. This is my rather sorry looking um, bubble bar from Lush. It is called the Magic Wand um, and it was a limited edition one for Christmas I think. As you can see I have used it a few times already. I thought you'd just get like one, maybe two uses out of these, but they really kind of last. Sorry, that's my baby in the background. Um, I think I've had like 
three baths out of this already and I've probably got enough for another one or maybe even two if I'm being a bit stingy. Um, yeah, I don't usually like sweet scents but somehow I quite like this. Um, I'm not sure if it's just because I'm not using very much in each bath or what. It kind of turns your bath a kind of nice pinky purpley colour and it's a little bit shimmery and it's just been a nice treat and then keep rattling it because it's got a little bell on it. But yeah, it's a shame you can't get that one, but I'm definitely, I've got this like newfound love for Lush recently. Um, I've just kind of rediscovered it. I hadn't really used much from them since my teens, and then in the last couple of months I've just been bath bomb crazy. So I think I'm going to have to buy some more stuff from them. Okay, last product now is the Mamma Mia Goodbye Stretch Marks Stretch Mark Minimizer. Um, this is really good. Um, now, as I have said many times in this video already, I recently had a baby um, and I used like a stretch mark prevention oil, but stupidly I only used it on the front of my belly for most of my pregnancy. So although I do have a couple of stretch marks on the front, they're really not that bad. They're like quite light, I guess. But on the sides of my tummy, where I didn't apply any of that oil, um, I did get quite a few, which is really annoying. Um, so I bought this and I've been using it for a while now and I have to say it's absolutely incredible. A couple of annoying things about it. One, it's really expensive. Two, you get through it really quickly. And three, you have to apply it three times a day, which is really annoying. So, but you know, if you want it to work, you just have to do it. So I've got into the habit of putting it on like just after I brush my teeth morning and night and then I put it on in the afternoon like after I've had some lunch. Those are like my ways of remembering. So I started using this about um, halfway through my third trimester and my baby is now nine weeks old. Um, so I have been using it for quite a, for quite a while, I think my words are. Um, and I have gone through quite a few bottles so if you like if it's something that you want to use, you have to be willing to kind of make the investment to use multiple bottles of it, and it is expensive. But it really, really works. Some of the stretch marks, which were like a kind of purpley, dark purple colour, or like bright red, are now like looking a lot less angry, a lot less dark, and they're kind of starting to work their way towards my normal skin colour. So I think if I keep persevering with it, I think they will probably... I don't know if they'll ever completely go, I don't think you can ever completely get rid of stretch marks, but I, I know it will, they will be almost invisible, so I'm really, really happy with that, and actually I probably need to buy another one. Um, so yeah, those are all of my January favourites, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as always, I'll link all the products down below in the description box so you can have a look. Um, you can also have a look at my um, newly relaunched and redesigned website if you like, it's diviathompson.com. Um, I have lots of blog posts going up um, every Monday and then I have a beauty video every Friday and then I do a vlog every Sunday as well so lots to see on there um, and I think that's it for today so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!